This week I wanted to do this abstract art vlog. I actually have a lot of exciting things that's coming up and I was just in a place where I genuinely just wanted to create and also learn some different techniques. Um, I've also been stepping outside of resin and looking into like acrylics and today I just kind of wanted to practice some like brushing techniques but I do have some fun exciting things to announce which I will get to later in the video. So for this painting, I was actually really inspired by this image that I found on Pinterest. It's this aerial view shot of this Salt Lake photo and I believe it's the Salt Pan series by Tom Hegan. He is the photographer that took this photo and it's so beautiful and I am just so mesmerized at how over time nature just kind of evolves and also how it just leaves so much beauty and I just find it so fascinating. I could probably go on and talk about rocks but this isn't a rock channel. This is an art channel. Um, yeah, so I just thought it was really interesting. And I was trying to recreate it and do like an abstract version of it using acrylics. This is the next day and funny thing, I am just not quite satisfied with how this painting is turning out and I feel like this is kind of the majority of sometimes when I'm painting I like to scrap something um, and just try something else out so I'm actually gonna paint this over <laughs> with gesso and start over. You know, don't be afraid to start over if you're really not satisfied. I know I could always like keep painting it and wait it out, but I just feel like completely scrapping it. So that's the journey of this of this wonderful painting. <laughs> that's kind of how it turned out. Like I've been planting these seeds in my art and then now it seems like certain things are starting to blossom and bloom and it's really rewarding and cool to see this kind of happen. I got an opportunity, I signed up back in April to do live painting at this festival that's coming up in August and I found out two weeks ago that I got accepted so I'm going to be doing some live painting with other artists and it's just going to be like a fun, cool time. I thought I'd document uh, just me practicing because I have planned to do fluid painting and it's going to be on a larger canvas and for those who've seen my work before I do like little mini canvases so I'm going to be definitely stepping outside of my comfort zone not just that but also painting in front of people like even though I film my videos it's kind of just me in my room and a camera it's not it's not really that much pressure um so yeah i have that coming up and i just feel like i need to prepare for that even like mentally i'm not gonna lie i am pretty anxious this isn't something i've done before um so we're just gonna go with it and i'm gonna practice and i think the only way you're gonna keep moving forward is if you like push yourself out of your comfort zone and just do things that make you genuinely happy and even though i'm nervous i know this is going to be a great opportunity and for me to meet artists it's also been kind of tricky because i've been living up here away from my friends and family um just with me and my partner and i feel at times even though i am introverted and i like my space 
and I love working up here. I do find it quite lonely, not gonna lie, at certain times. It'll be nice also to, to get the opportunity to meet other artists and kind of put myself out there a little bit more and meeting like-minded people who also do similar stuff to me and just to really connect. That's honestly what I'm looking for. Um, so we're gonna be doing that. I also wanted to um, talk about today's sponsor for this video, just speaking on mental health and also speaking, um, just advocating for mental health and also specifically too, like I feel like with art, it really goes along with how you feel emotionally and even what you're going through mentally it's always been like a safe space for me as well as doing therapy um which is the sponsor for today's video it is better help better hdlp and for those who haven't heard of better help before they are an online therapy service so you can do video you can do texting you can just do like a call i prefer i love doing video chats just because i I like to see the person one on one, but they are an affordable online therapy service and there's over 20,000 licensed therapists to help you. They are trained professionals and for the last two years, I personally have been doing therapy and life coaching. I found actually my wonderful therapist, Beverly, through BetterHelp and with that, I feel like, I do feel like a better version of myself when I'm doing therapy because I do notice when I take time away or maybe I miss appointments or I don't feel like doing therapy for a couple months like straight I do notice a huge shift and change in myself I don't feel like my best version of Anna I don't feel like me and honestly just having someone there to talk to to help work certain things out that's uh, that you're currently going through um, it really is beneficial I definitely recommend it and obviously like at your own time and your own pace I think that's really important too and you also have the option to change your therapist I had to do that for me in order for me to find Beverly and I'm glad that I did it's such a really easy process to sign up for you just have to fill up a questionnaire that's what I had to do it also helps um, on better helps end of things to help match you with the therapist that's right for you if you guys are interested i do have a 10 percent discount for your first month with better help and i will link it in the down bar below and i just couldn't think of a better way to tie this into this art blog because especially for mental health like art has been my also my safe place for me to just create i also just feel like when I'm painting, I feel like I, I'm doing, I feel like I'm a child again, you know? I'm playing and I'm having fun and I'm just kind of in my zone. And for me, honestly, the reason why I love doing intuitive, like fluid painting is just, it's so fun for me. It's very rewarding because I feel like a kid again, just playing with so much paint and just like letting it out. Anyways, let's get painting. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be uh, doing this week. So this is the paint pour that I'm practicing um, with the fluid art and this is all used with acrylics. Now I was just trying to experiment, I didn't have actually, I found out later that you need a pouring medium for this, but I didn't have that on me so I just used water. So you could see the first time run when I poured it the paint it was just it just plopped on it didn't flow it didn't move i started to add water um to the rest of the paintings so i realized that's kind of the trick to have that i feel like most people would probably say that paint pour fluid painting looks really easy but i kid you not it isn't there is a technique to this and there's so many different elements i always feel like there's a stigma or there's some sort of judgment on abstract art sometimes i was also guilty of this where i thought like abstract artists didn't put a lot of effort versus where people who painted portraits did and i was completely wrong and honestly like for me abstract art has been something that just really captures what i feel and personally i feel like it's my favorite painting style and i feel like i can just keep doing this
on this next day and I wanted to share with you guys um, the painting that dried up. Now I just started kind of learning about acrylic pour so I didn't realize um, you need to have a certain type of acrylic medium to have the paint to be more fluid and not have cracks. When it dried up, there's some cracks on top, so I'm gonna see if I can fix it um, and just like play around with it, but this is what I have so far. I absolutely love, like it just looks so trippy and I just kind of experimented with the colors that I had. So I wanted to just do more of like a, you know, jade kind of green color um, and play around with the marbling because there's something that I do want to practice and figure out because I do want to make a certain kind of collection later in the future but yeah there's some cracking that happened over here unfortunately and I did not use any paint medium I realized um, I put some heavier thick paint before this application so I think that might have been the crack because it's still wet behind here um, but it dries up on top and that's kind of what happens when the top layer is fully dry but it's still wet underneath whereas other areas is like super perfect for me yeah just gonna have to figure out the whole crack situation also on another note i've been so like busy just kind of working on different little mini projects and getting ready for a lot of things but i actually have my collection my red sand collection that i've been working on for like oh my gosh i think like the past year i just wanted it to be right and i wanted it to be ready and i'd feel like now is the time and i just kind of wanted to share that with you um in front of me okay here it is my red sand collection it is a total of five mini pieces and i just kind of wanted my whole idea behind this was i a year ago i went to the east coast and i went to prince edward island and i went to thunder cove beach with three of my friends and I was just so inspired by the red sand. I really wanted to emulate that. So that's kind of like the first piece that I created. And then it just kind of manifested into different variations and forms of the red sand. Plus, I've also actually got inspiration through uh, crystals and rocks, just seeing like the different layers and of it forming. So I kind of wanted to merge that and that's what it came down to. By the time this video gets uploaded, it will be up on my website and these will be available to purchase.